Hello and welcome back to the Berry Lily Challenge. Today we are learning three finger chords. All of this is in preparation for songs which will take up the second half of the challenge. And I apologize in advance if it's a little noisy upstairs. Um, this is recorded during the quarantine and schools are closed. So all my little neighbors are up there right now. I apologize for that. Okay, so let's just get started with our three finger chords. Um, we definitely need that thumb to be on the back center of the ukulele because we need that much more reach. Today, really make sure those nails are trimmed. If they're not trimmed, pause the video now or cut them as you watch the video the first time through and then replay it once you're ready. Um, like watching the video first really will yield better results just with any tutorial. Okay, so we're going to start off with D chord and um, that's just like a triangle chord or an upside down triangle. We've got the index and the middle and the second frets of uh, G and E strings and the ring finger on the third fret of B string. Okay, and I'm going to play through just making sure that they're all ringing. If they're not, wiggle those fingers around, make sure you're using the tip. Okay, let's do that four times. One, two, D, go. One, two, again, go. And one, last time, go. Awesome, okay, so now we're gonna turn that into a D7. And basically look up, what we want to do is lose this and we want to put it here. We want to put a finger here. So we're going to rearrange the whole hand. <laughs> Index finger is going to be up there. And now middle and ring are on the second frets. Test each string. This is a triangle, right? And this is D7. So let's do it together. One, two, four times. Go. Awesome. Now we're going to turn that into a D minor. So we're going to put the index finger first on the first fret of E, middle finger on the second fret of G, and ring finger on the third fret of B. So there's, that's a bit of more of a stretch. Test each string. This is a minor chord, so if it sounds kind of somber, so let's do it four times. One, two, four times. Go. One, two, again. Go. And breathe. One, two. Go. Relax the hand. Relax the shoulder. When we play on that first fret, uh, sometimes the fingers hurt a little bit more just because the action or the string height is a little higher on the first fret, but that's okay. That's just building up our calluses. Okay, so now we're going to do A chord, not a chord, but A major chord. For this one, I like to pivot all the way up and have the fingers come down from the top. And then I like to relax the hand once they're in position. So they're, I'm not like playing like this, like a little teapot. <laughs> I'm not playing like that. Like that just helps me get into position, but then I relax and wiggle the hand so that I, so that it looks normal too. You know, I don't want to look super freaky. Test each string. Ooh, I think I need to tune something's off. While I tune, uh, hit the, the like button and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so this is an acoustic electric ukulele, by the way, so it's got the tuner already embedded. So it allows me to tune quickly. Okay, so let's do that four times. One, two, three, go. Now we're 
going to make that into a minor chord. So um, we're gonna put middle and ring fingers on the second frets of D and G and the index finger on the first fret of B. Test each string. Wiggle them around, relax the shoulder. Breathe. Okay, let's do it four times. One, two, one, two, have fun. Go. One, two, again, go. And one last time, go. Alrighty, nice job. So um, those are like the most used three finger chords. There are more, but because of what we did last lesson, I really want to focus on just mastering a few at a time. So add those to your library. And then for the next day, we're going to do barred chords. And a bar chord, is, bar chord is when you hold down more than one string with one finger. Once we have that, we'll be able to do our first song. So um, it's kind of like a ukulele anthem to do, or like definitely a milestone to do Stand By Me. Which we have C, A minor, which we did today, F, which we'll do tomorrow, G7, and back to C. to look forward to. I'm sorry that all this like other stuff is taking so long but it is really important to master the fundamentals in the beginning and then we can learn more fundamentals through music and songs so that'll get funner. So make sure you come back for those future lessons and then we can start making music. Alrighty, I'll see you there. Bye!